the Brooklyn Nets hosting the New York Knicks. And the Nets are two or two and a half point favorites. The over under is at 225. The Knicks are plus 110 on the money line and the Nets are minus 130. The Knicks are on a one game winning streak. The Nets are on a one game losing streak. The Knicks are five and five against the spread. The over is six and four in the games in which they played in. And they are two and three on the road this year. The Nets are three, seven and one against the spread. The under is seven and four in the games in which they played in. And they are two and four at home. However, this is when it gets fun. The Nets are on a seven game winning streak against the Knicks. The Nets are eight and two against the Knicks in their last 10 meetings. The under has hit in their last two games. The over under is five and five, that's just overall. The under 225 is seven, two and one in their last 10 meetings. The home team is five and five. The underdog is seven and three against the spread and the favorite is eight and two on the money line. Now the last game that they played, the Nets were the favorite. They won and covered 110 to 98. They were six and a half point favorites. The game before that, the Nets won 110 to 107. Uh, they were five point favorites. They won, but they did not cover. The game before that, the Nets won 111 to 106, and they were the underdog in that game, four and a half points. And the game before that, they won 112 to 110, and the Knicks were six point underdogs. They've beaten the Knicks without Kyrie. I think they do it again. And considering that they own the Knicks, it's not a far-fetched idea. I'm going to take the Nets with the money line, the Nets getting the points, and I'm going to go under, forgive me, laying the points. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.